and welcome to the locker room. It's time, it's back. The Champions League returns to the football calendar this week. So as you can imagine, it's a big part of tonight's show. We'll discuss the best Valentine's Date ideas. Real Madrid versus PSG at the Bernabeu. A tasty Tuesday showdown between Juventus and Tottenham Hotspur. And we also ask if La Liga's title race is alive again after Barca dropped points at the weekend. Just a little Valentine's Day poem to kick things off, though. Gary's a red, he played for Man U, but Newcastle beat them and stuck it to Moo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That is Absolutely nice. Anything wonderful. to say, Ray? I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just sitting on the high horse looking down at uh, Manchester United, which I predicted would happen, Gary. Sorry, when you say looking down, we're second and you're All right, the bottom. All right, that's right. Uh, near details. Up, you're looking at Near details. <laughs> Deandre Yetlin was better than Pogba, by the way. Ooh. And Yetlin cost zero in transfer fee. OK, Ooh. let's get started on Champions League then. Ever since the draw was made, we've been waiting for this week. Real Madrid taking on PSG in the first leg of the Champions League last 16. Both sides have lethal attacks, but whose is better? I'll start then. If you're looking at me, I'll go PSG <laughs> without a question. I mean, Without a question? Not even a question. Cavani alone has more, uh, scored more goals than the entire BBC. And... You know, France is a little bit easier than Spain, but um, Neymar scored 18, Cavani 21, Mbappe 9, and Mbappe has missed a whole bunch of games. As, as three players in great form, I think they are currently better by far than the BBC up until now. That can change, but up until now. And, and, and what's more, just one final comment, PSG finished above Bayern Munich in the qualifiers so it's, it's impressive going, it's hard to argue with gary um you know benzema is the one isn't he and benzema has been missing in action you couldn't find him with a shot bite i mean the, this situation with gareth as well he's been inspirational coming off the bench but has he totally convinced you know injuries and cristiano just lately is starting to hit form but he's got nine goals he's got nine goals and this is their tournament and real madrid are going to need a big night from cristiano big time but they're used to these big nights I, that, that's what they want to play for yeah. the champions league ronaldo scored nine goals mm -hmm. they're going to be ready wednesday they're going to be ready for this psg team yeah, Who's I, your favourite, Thomas? Real Madrid's attack or PSG? M Madrid. Not, not even close. Uh, PSG, uh, as good as they are, lost four out of the six away games in the UCL. Have never gone past this. this, this and I think that Emery is not that good of a coach. And this comes down to, yeah, there's a lot of talent. But this comes down to tactics. And this comes down to experience. And outside of Ronaldo, Benzema is going to be the big X factor. He's going to stand up 53 goals in what? In how many years? And, he scored and, every year. And they year. say it's his tournament. But what happens with the BBC? There's been a lot of talk as to whether the first three will play in this team. Whether he'll line up the BBC. Everything points to the fact that he will play them, Bale Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo, but there are other options, and if he uses another option, one of them has to come out. You've upset and the him word now. is no, that it him. might be Benzema. You're making me go crazy. Here because the whole <laughs> year, leave now. The whole year we've been waiting for Bale to be fit. Yeah, okay. Right, uh, now he's been fit for a month, right. and now we don't know if they're going to play. So no, what we, what Bale will play, I think Cristiano will play, but it's Benzema is the one, is the big question, yeah. Bobo. And he got booed off the field. Yeah, but everyone gets booed off there. That time, this was as loud as I've heard it. It was nasty. That's because he, he, he missed that missed easy but it's not, No, it's not easy. You know why? Because the ball's not rolling bounced, on the ground. It bounces. It bounces I said up. that so during it, the, the commentary. When it bounces, I, I understand I missed, that. It's an, in I front missed of an open one goal at the World Cup. I understand. I know, they it hit my, my, my shin yeah, pad because it bounces. So yeah. they're not, they look easy. The fans there are all saying, you're a dummy. You're gonna, it's not it's, easy. But it's, it's, it's tough for Zidane, I think, He's because his home match is first. So if he gets a sign, and I think you're right, he will play the BBC. But let's assume they don't get the goals. Ronaldo's not on form. Benz is not scoring. And they have to defend a bit because they're up against a really good PSG team. If they don't get a good lead and they're off to play PSG in their home ground, we saw what happened to well, Barca last year. Yeah. He's got a problem. So his choice of, of team, he, uh, he'll uh, gamble on uh, Benz, but it's a big like gamble. Thomas said, the tactics are going to come into it for sure. But the players as well are mm. going to be transcendent above yeah. that for me. And the only way Real Madrid beats this PSG team is if Isco plays. I'm sorry, I'll take oh, that you're one. Gonna set him I off know, now. I know. Oh. But if Isco plays, it all has a lot of stuff for Real Madrid, and I think they'll benefit from it. That that forward line is lethal. When you look at Mbappe, Cavani, and Neymar, they've been fantastic. So, that, so it's the, the talk is either Isco comes in or Vasquez comes in in a 4-4-2 mm. to help Nacho on the right hand side Vasquez because of that lethal. Well. Vasquez PSG playing very attack. good. What do you do, Thomas? You go at home 4-3-3. Go with the BBC. That has yeah. worked for you throughout, not this year necessarily, but you know what? 
PSG has to prove to me first they can beat the champion at one, two in a row and could okay. go for three. Uh, all the talent there, no problem. But you know what? Real Madrid is still the team to beat right now. I don't care who they play, and they have the quality to do it. The question is that PSG learned how much from that last catastrophe against Barcelona. All of this is going to come in. They've learned. They've got to produce be a fantastic game. All right, Wednesday is Valentine's Day, and it's also Angel Di Maria's birthday. <laughs> he won the Champions League with Real Madrid in 2014, but now he'll be coming off against his old club. So here are his thoughts. I think we are a lot stronger this season than we were last season. We are a more complete squad. But I believe that is not the difference maker in the Champions League. I've said it several times to win it, you have to have a great squad, yes, but also that little bit of luck. And without it, you just won't get the trophy. A little bit of luck, always so important <laughs> mm -hmm. in these competitions. So important. And, he yeah, said, yeah. and he said a big bench as well, and that's a big difference. They've got a better be bench. bench, PSG, than Real Madrid have at the moment. Uh, now, dis Ooh. despite what's so been... Everything's arguable. It, is. it really <laughs> is. So it's like what we were saying before we came on here. This is going to be real interesting. This is a man destroyed the world like a colossus in his day. You're looking forward to this Ooh, like I can't it's wait. I can't wait. Christmas and New I've been New waiting Year's, for right? four months these games, mm -hmm. the Champions League. Yep. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo has been considered under par this season, but he's actually bettered last year's numbers at this stage of the season. He bagged a hat-trick at the weekend. Was he sending a message to Wednesday's opponents? Well, let's take a look at the goals. Why are we still talking about Ronaldo? I know, this one's a lovely put-back, and, and this was a great finish. For me, that's a very clean very clean finish yep. um this one was um uh, uh, well let's take a look it's a great off. he starts a bit Mar and then it turns it this overlap run, run is correct. fabulous but essential great yeah, move too create space out of nothing and cristiano terrible defending you'll not get that much space against psg this, this, I agree. this is this is where he's special it's set pieces and they're going to have to be careful, PSG, because I don't think they'll come up against a better header of a ball in world football than, yes, than this man. Especially absolutely. when he has a running jumper. This things. was he a fantastic header. Class. For me, this was his. Yeah. This was the best one by far of the three because he was under pressure on the on the uh, on the jump, but he had to get his angle right perfect. If physically you're not in good form, <laughs> you don't jump that higher. Yeah, right, so yeah. he's maybe 32, 33, whatever you guys want. If, if 33, if it, our, direct, our no, producer, just he's, 33. he loves it. Right. Yes. It's, it's so always important to score goals, Bob, but you no, know but that. But that's what we're saying. It's his form that seems to be back now, because to be able to make up those numbers <laughs> that he was missing at the beginning of the season, to have actually bettered mm -hmm. last season's numbers in terms of goals at right. this stage, that tells you he's in fine form, surely, Thomas? Uh, absolutely, but, and that's why I say <laughs> they're still the team to beat, and, 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 and Bale also will be able to step up to Kate. the plate and really show he can do Ronaldo, by the way, 19 goals in the last 11 yeah, UCL games. the statistics games, keep coming out, and you, you, well, you, you just said, but you just said it yourself because of the statistics. That's why you think he's in great form. Maybe if he's no, not like that, that means he's he scoring is, goals in all the recent but games. But he's not he's played, played as well. Has he played as well as he was playing last season? Over the course of Has the season, Benzema no. played as well? Uh, that, the and these are the, the problems season, no. when you look at a game like this, Kay. It's not just about the fact that he's scoring goals no. against bad opposition. But when he I... scores goals, Real Madrid tend to win, yeah. right? All right. And they do, though, right? And, and, and here's the point. It's not, it's not just up front. All this discussion's been about Bale, Benzema uh, and, and, uh, and Ronaldo. It's in defence that I worry about Real Madrid as well because they will score goals against anybody, that of no doubt. But they've conceded 23, Barca's conceded 11, and it's Lady 9. There's a ma okay. it's double. They've conceded let, double let, let's look, what Barcelona let's, and and that, and You know what, Gary? I, I bet you this game yeah. will not be won in that situation. It will not be a defensive thing that the Madridistas are pointing to say that's why we lost. It'll be in midfield and it'll be in forwards, like you're saying. Ronaldo's got to score and they've got to control this midfield against okay, what, PSG. What, 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 what I was going to say in terms of defenders, what has Emery done to really bolster, in particular, the center defense when against Barcelona? They totally, totally just had a melt. Down, yeah. including the captain, Mr. Silva, that I should not play, when, by the way. Wednesday. Go with Marquinhos and Kimbap, uh, the, the other uh, team members. Absolutely. Well, Wednesday, you're going to have Cross, Modric, and Casemiro. Yeah, same. They're going to play, and you're going to see how they play, my friend. Okay, right. Who, who okay. are the three midfield for PSG? Real quick. Rocky, yeah. who's starting for PSG I this game know. in midfield? Verratti will be think? there. I don't know. I don't know. Verratti. Rabiot, Rabiot will be there. He's got a great left, left this foot. Ra ra I don't but think Rabiot is fully fit. X Factor, Diara, that they just brought in two That's weeks ago. Guys, no, starting. These three, these three that I just did, 
are in another level. I agree. Mm. They sleep they in a five-star hotel. Uh, Thank so, you. so uh, which manager, uh, with all this in Bob mind, Lieri. which manager is under more pressure, oh, Zidane or Emery? It's got to be Unai Emery because he, I don't think he has a second chance here. If he loses, he's gone. Z Zidane's the, the reigning twice, two years running. Right. So as much as everything's fallen apart, that might keep him his job. Mm. But for Unai Emery, there's nowhere to go. If you spend this amount of money, you've got the most expensive player in the world, Neymar. You've got million. Mbappe, who's a, the best, <laughs> best young kid, and you don't go through at least to the semis, possibly the final. Let me He's ask out. you this thing, Gary. Uh, when you've seen PSG play, Thomas, have they been better this year than they were last year? Yeah. Because they look so. to me that they're a better so. team. I I'm agree. They played yeah. against Bayern at home. They won 3-0, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Then they went there but and they lost 3-0, 3-1. Okay. Correct. So what does that mean? That in Champions League, it's a different, different story from the League One. Forget about the first game because they, they sacked the coach. Heinkes came in and changed. Mm -hmm. Bayern was in a bad run, worse than Madrid at that time. Mm -hmm. PSG caught him. Again, PSG has to prove to me first oh, that they can okay. get that. Emery's okay. never gone past the round of 60, and, and PSG's yeah, never but, gone. Yes, there's talent there. But on big games, but, well, you, bring it you, on. You, you, want, you, you want to talk big games? Real Madrid lost at home to Barca. They, they didn't score against Atleti. They lost, they lost to Spurs. They drew at home against Spurs. They you know, can't win the, the big games uh, either. Let's not forget that these, yeah. these, the opening games of these you know, big sure. showdowns sure. are always tight. Yeah. They're always cagey and tight. Even though this is why you're drooling to see this game. Because are Real Madrid going to come out yeah. all guns blazing? Yeah. Guns and noses. <laughs> I really, and, and now is when it counts is what you're saying. Hey, exactly. Now it really, really it's counts. It's going to be okay. tight. Predictions right. on this game. Gary Bailey. This game, Real Madrid, but over two legs, it's going to be PSG. Okay, but this so game, no draw. Real Madrid in the first yeah. leg. Thomas. Madrid. Ray. I'm going to go with PSG to Ooh. pull off a little bit of it. Your surprise. beloved Real yeah. Madrid. Christian. Yeah. Two zero. Ramos. Benzema. There you go. Oh, we're yes. outnumbering Ray today, so I'm going to go for Real Madrid, Madrid in the first leg, and we'll see what happens in the second. Juventus against Spurs, another chocolate truffle of a matchup in the Champions League. Is it the most balanced of clashes in the last 16, though? It seems that it's hard to pick a winner in this one. Who is the balance tipping in the favour of? I'm going to go with you. I'd love to say Spurs because they've been so good and they, they did great to finish above Real Madrid. But the Italians, when it comes down to it, they can defend, they can get under your skin, they can give you little elbows, trip you up. And I don't think the Spurs, I mean, Spurs have never been to the knockout phase. These players haven't been. So they're inexperienced. I just think Juve will know what to do, even if they're losing to upset Spurs and beat them. So it's amazing, isn't Juve it? To go are, through. Uh, you look at them, they're actually two underachieving clubs, which is surprising in itself when you look at them. Underachieving? How, well, yeah, they are. Compared to last year, I mean, Spurs well, finished second last year. They're still in a battle. Juve what had this league already put to bed this year they're in a real tight fight with with napoli which might actually benefit them but uh, no dibala for juve that's a worry for me bobo i agree 100 uh, yeah i don't how much spurs are relying on kane is a big thing are spurs gonna have to be brave in this it's gonna one, be a though. chocolate truffle game <laughs> <laughs> it's valentine's day i needed to get some little chocolate truffle mentions. it's gonna be a hard that. game uh, i saw Tottenham this weekend they played they played fantastic mm -hmm. I haven't been seeing Juventus playing good in the last two months, but they're not conceding, so anything can happen. All right, right. Gary Bailey, predictions. Uh, Juventus. Thomas. Kane, you got Ali, Kane, Son, Ericsson. Just got too much firepower outside of Kane, by the way. Tottenham. Right. UV, all day. Christian. Zero, zero. So oh, you came for the draw. Yeah, I just changed my... Uh, well, we say Juve there. I can't change. What is gonna, this? What are we... Uh, I'm going to go for Spurs. This is 1-1, one, one, then. Right on. oh, Juventus not, have shut out Suarez, Messi, Mertens, Icardi. They're not going to shut out Kane. There you go. We'll touch on the other two games in the Champions League this week and ask if Basel can put up a fight against City. We'll ask if the title race is back on in La Liga and we'll bring you our top goals too when we return. Tuesday, St. Jacob Park. It's going to be tricky for Basel coach Raphael Wicky. Predictions for this one. Gary Bailey, who have you uh, got? Manchester City. I mean, Basel are only second in their league behind young boys. Seriously, they're going to beat City. Aguero scored four on the weekend. Sterling, De Bruyne, far Gary too strong. Gary Bailey, picking Man City. Thomas, are you? Um, I, I, yeah, I am. But Basel won four of the last five at home, by the way, UCL. But City with, with Sterling, the X-Factor, is going to win. You didn't pick a draw? 
Oh, I draw, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. That's where I said four I'm going to go yeah, for the upset of upset, just like I did with Newcastle United when I beat the other uh. Manx. Uh, so I'm going to go with Basel what? to pull off the unbelievable. This is, should be a mismatch for Man City. It won't be. Christian? I'm going to choose Basel, even if what? I chose here Man City. I don't want to change my mind. No, you're not changing I, your mind What are we, now? in jail? We can't you're do anything. I want to no. change my... R raise the smart one. <laughs> you know, raise the one who went out on a limb here. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm going to go for City as well in this one. The next one's difficult to call. Porto against Oof. Liverpool. The 2004 champions mm. against the 2005 champions. Gary, who have you got? I'm going for the draw. I think it's a difficult one to call. Porto, top of the league, it's unbeaten Thomas. in this season. But up against the Liverpool side. It's the first time I've gone for a draw, guys. Give me a break. Uh, Liverpool, they've got some fantastic strikers. Not across strikers. the course of the season, though, Gary. You've got plenty of draws across I've got, that. yeah, but today it's not. Uh, I mean, Salah's in great form. Uh, Sane's so quick. Vermigno. And they've only lost two of the last 23, Liverpool. I think they're looking really, really good at the moment. Thomas. Sergio Consensao, the manager, is will be the difference maker. Great tactician. Have you got Vincent Abu Bakar yeah, up top. that scored? Nice and aggressive Thank you. As well. I pick this Hip. team, Porto, to go Porto, through. right? Uh, it's vital for Porto to get a result because they'll not win at Anfield. And uh, they may pull it out, but I'm, I'm going to go with Liverpool either way. Uh, Liverpool scored in three of the four away games in the Champions League. Uh, they're on fire as well, so I'm, I'm going with Liverpool. Christian. I'm going to choose Porto, not Poto, like you guys said. <laughs> Porto. Because <laughs> uh, my best friend's a coach of Porto, so ah. what can I do? Yeah. I am cool. going to go for Liverpool in this one. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Now, Barca <laughs> dropped points for a second consecutive week in La Liga, and it means their points lead at the top of the table has been cut to seven. It's Atleti who are in second. They're seven points behind them. Let's not worry about third and fourth, because Valencia in third <coughs> is 16 points behind them. The big talk in Spain is whether the league title race is back on. What do you guys think? The big talk in Spain. Yeah, they're saying I Liga, which is what I they want say, name, right? Hey, I want names now. The names uh, are uh, coming uh, from Cope Radio, some of the journalists yeah, it's there. It's And we've seen it, obviously, Marga. from the Madrid press as well. Everything's already done. Uh, can I just give Thank you the, uh, the, the odds, the, the yes, odds please, on, please the, on, the, on La Liga's championship with the English bootmakers? Yeah. Barcelona, 1 to 100. Wow. So you have to put $100 just to get one. Wow. Atletico Madrid, 20 to 1. Real Madrid, 66 to 1. Wow. wow. I would back Atleti. You were saying that it might still be on, right? I think it is on. Which I think, I think it is on. Why is it still I'm on? I think uh, yeah. I'm Atletico, with the way they play, the way they work. Tim Stannard said it all the time. Yeah. Nobody believed Stannard. You know, I'm just <laughs> Tim Stannard. And, uh, he's, uh, but he's been right. Yeah. It's the yeah. man in which they play. Nine goals against. Yeah. In all five leagues, nobody's even I'm close to that. They, they, they got it's, nine it's goals against a Griezmann. I, I it's going to be a race, but, but it's, I think Barcelona will yeah. still win. But here's, here's one for you. Was it four or five years ago? United was seven points clear of Manchester City with something like five or six games to go. Not 12 or 13 games. Five or six, and City beat them on the final day. Of course it's possible. I mean, they're a good side. I don't know, I, and they're not in the cup, and they don't have to worry about European Champions League. Today... I yep. don't know you guys, okay? What? Atleti's, I don't know you guys. Atleti's got to play. I've got to have a chance. They used they're to have 70,000. There's 5,000 people watching them. They, they play the worst football. <laughs> yeah, but I they agree. still win. They play the worst they football still win in the last 20 football. years. Okay, but it's... Yeah, they you, win. So, you, so you've got to attack sometimes, bad. guys. You've got to attack sometimes to score a goal. Barcelona's going to win it, but I think it'll, it'll be interesting. I mean, what if, hey, what if Real this Madrid weekend, win? Barcelona haven't got an easy game. But what if Real Madrid win at the Bernabeu? I mean, it'll be no cup. I mean, all of a sudden, that changes. 45, 45 and I'm still playing. <laughs> last game that, that Ray called, the first time they didn't score a goal at home, he said, a little bit of an indication right now. Then Bella healthy, they look Coutinho tired, there, they look they tired. Look tired. Yes. They look run down, and it's hard for those players to integrate into this Barcelona system, like said Dembele and Mina. Coutinho. It's, it's not yeah. easy. So the, the, the conclusion is... I Liga. Yeah, it's on, <laughs> it's right, on. It's, it's on. time. Woo! What were you thinking? <laughs> and we've got some hairy moments to show you what from I'm the weekend's thinking. action in football and social media. First off, Ray, <laughs> Atake, you took a point. You might have had three, though. What were you thinking? What are you guys thinking? This was amazing. Uh, look at this breakaway. This could have won the game. He's got an open net. Ter Stegen slips. And he couldn't hit a barn door with a handful of rice, that guy. The wow. Japanese international. What a miss. What were you thinking? Look at this. It's a wonderful through ball. He sees Ter Stegen's off the... Look where Ter Stegen is. Just clip it into the open net. Yeah. These are professional players. What were you thinking? Yeah. Gaku. 
Shibasaki! <laughs> you, would you have scored it, Christian? He would have scored I, I, it for the I don't, back know. I don't think so. I'm just saying that. He'd be closer, though. He looked you? at the goalkeeper. He saw behind him 45,000 people, so he got a bit scared. I yeah, he filled his Okay, pants. next up, Christian Vieri. What oh, were you thinking? No. What, what is this? this? Oh, that's a good no. haircut. I like, I like it. Looks George? like George. <laughs> Looks like George <laughs> Michael. He does the right. Come on. Shoulders again. What's Shoulders again. Shoulders again. That's George beautiful. Michael. Oh, that's a great oh haircut. God. That's a oh, fun good But is there an, ex <laughs> is there an excuse? Is I there swear a reason? You know that. I don't know who someone sent it to me. I didn't know that my hair was like that. Well, you got what was I thinking? You didn't well, I know your hair was like that. You didn't know. You didn't look in the mirror. But my friends, they didn't say that I look like that. But don't, but don't, you, look, don't you look <laughs> in the mirror in the morning. You don't great. look in the mirror. For him to <laughs> say, <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking, yeah. man? Look at me. Wake me up before you Wake me up before you bobo. Wake me up before you bobo. Wake me up before you bobo and brush your hair, please. Predictions when we return here on the locker room. No, top goals. Top goals. Oh, a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we start with Christian Vieri's pick this week from his old club into Jan Caramo. I chose Caramo, amazing oh. goal, outside the box, curled with his left foot. Amazing goal and an amazing win, very important win for Inter. First win of 2018. <clears throat> Next, Gary Bailey. Yes, this is Anderson Taliska for Basic to seven. Look when the ball comes in here. Oh. It's going to come up and wait, wait, wait. There it comes. Whoa. Eventually finishes a big lad as well. He's very agile for a Is guy a who's way, way over. It's, 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 dangerous a half, player, no? it's a half bicycle. He tries there. He tries there. It's two tries and Ooh. it's a scissor Ooh. kick. And there you go. Third yeah. time lucky. Beautiful. Ray, Andrea Bellotti. Andrea Bellotti, the bull. Look at this. Charging like a bull, <laughs> wonderful dexterity with his feet, sees the goalkeeper coming, measures his angles down, better than Archimedes. Fabulous goal from a lovely <laughs> number nine, Bellotti, in a good goal scoring celebration. Look, falls a space in front of him like the SS Enterprise. He is off like a jackrabbit on a hot date, Remember and he finishes. <laughs> Thomas Rungan. <laughs> This is, if you want to teach young players how to strike a ball properly, Tony Cruz, well done. I use you as a demo. Brilliant. In step, leaning backwards. That means the ball will go up underneath as well. Non-kicking foot in the direction of where the ball is going to be played. Tony Cruz, perfection, my man. That's where he scores his goals. Zone 14. Mine is Mustafa Yumlu for Akisar Sport, channeling his oh, oh, oh. Latan Ibrahimovic. You need to see a close-up on this one. Look at this wow. finish. From this man, Zlatan would be proud of this. Oh, Jesus. That's my top goal for you Good this voice. week. Yeah. Magisterial Monday on BN Sports is not over yet. Right after the locker room, George DiMatellis is joined by Gary Bailey to look back on the biggest games of the weekend. Here's George with what's coming off. What's up, everyone in the locker room, Kay and the crew? I'm sure you guys are having a very spirited debate and conversation about what happened this weekend on um, BN Sports. Well, we're going to show the people the action that took place this weekend with Real Madrid's win against Real Sociedad, a disappointing draw for Barca at home, the marquee matchup in Italy, and PSG trying not to lose to Toulouse. So much on Monday Night Soccer tonight after the locker room. Kay, back to you. So much on BN Sports 2. The Qatar Open <laughs> coverage continuing from Qatar of the world's finest WTA players in action. February 13th. Coverage at 3.30 a.m. Eastern. And we will see you next time on The Locker Room with more dodgy haircuts. That's, see ya. that's Game of Thrones, then. That's a shocker. That is a shocker. That's the <laughs>